Holy Ghost filled water baptized Christians. You know, I, I just want you to know that this studio is about truth. It's about us being real. It's about us being hanging out and just being good people, real people, you know. So sometimes if we laugh a little bit too loud, it's okay, you know. And for those of you who don't want truth, you better flip this channel because that's all we got. <laughs> you know, we got the good truth, we got the bad truth, we got the one that you put on the shelf and say, hmm, well, I wonder what he meant by that. That's okay. Because the biggest factor is, is that we are here present because of Jesus Christ. We are here because we believe in Jesus Christ. We are here because we have an advocate with the Father where he's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. You understand? Because he said there is therefore no condemnation to them who are in Christ Jesus who walks not after the flesh. But after the spirit of the living God. Somebody sing. Brother Jerry, sing another song. You all going on like you pay for a concert. Come on, stop. <laughs> Let's have some fun, praise God. Since Jesus passed by. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Like a blind man, I wonder. So lost and undone. Like a bigger so helpless without God or His Son. But then I see the Lord, He had mercy, and He heard my cry. I said, Oh, what a difference since Jesus has died. Since Jesus has died. I'm seeking a rip. 
and, and, and just let him know or just just let him know that that all, all I kept hearing from him for the last few months is just trust me is all he's saying I know it's hard I know it's hard but just trust me trust me the last three Christmases I spent alone so I know what it's like I spent by myself I mean I would go you know but it was it was I was alone you felt alone in the world I would but so I'm grateful to be here. Praise God. I'm grateful to be here. I thank you. I love you. God bless you with everything that you are doing in this ministry. Oh. Share your testimony. Share, share your testimony. No test, no testimony. I know it's hard. It's a big, long one. But let's give, a, give the people your heart. People are out there watching right now. And what they want is real. You're real. That's why I let you come on my podium. Because God gave me this. I can't let anybody walk up here. And I know you're sincere. And that's what the people want. They want to know they're not alone. Like you said, the last three years you spent it alone. And people don't understand. Share you. That's what the people want. Praise God. Yeah. Whoa. Um, testimony. Te my goodness. You know, there's there's testimonies within testimonies, yes. right? So we don't have enough time to go through like a That's whole right. testimony. But I, I I think what I want to do on this day is 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 glorify the Lord, as opposed to, with all due respect, as opposed to maybe going into a personal testimony. The real victory is in the Lord. So there, the testimony is always of overcoming. It's always of overcoming. So it doesn't matter whether or not, you know, you're overcoming from drug addiction, whether you're overcoming from, from, you know, broken heart, whatever it may be, at the end of the day, the Lord is saying, I'm your savior. I'm your savior. All you got to do is believe me. So what I will say, just to honor what you're saying, my testimony is one where I had to learn. I had to learn that I couldn't do it on my own. I had to learn that I had to surrender everything, every thought, every desire, everything I had to lay down to the feet of the Lord. And that is what he wants us to understand because he is saying, if you just trust me, this world is always trying to make us trust it. That's right. That's All right. So right. one thing I will share is, is I feel led to say this is that it's more of, of understanding how we oftentimes let the enemy be our savior yes. and what the lord has been been trying to show me over the last few years is he says this is what the enemy will do he will throw you into an ocean he'll throw you into an ocean without a, right. without anything without that's a life jacket right. no life jacket no life that's, jacket. Right. that's right and then what he'll do is he'll send you sharks and he's going to send the sharks to swarm around you and they're going to be swarming and swarming around you and now you are just you're cold you're 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 you're, you're afraid you don't know what's going to happen and then what he does right when you think that you know you can't you're going to go under or the sharks are going to take you he sends a yacht amen and on that yacht there's a man standing there and you're getting so excited because you're like thank you lord you're coming to save me and on that yacht there's the man and he's carrying and he has a rope and he throws you the rope and you're so happy. You're like, thank you, thank you. You've come to save me. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> you hear the voice of God and God says, don't take that rope. Hey, come on. That's God deep. says, do not take that That's rope. You're like, you're like, hold on That's a minute. You're deep. like, what God? My it's God. not you coming to save me. What do you mean don't take My that God. rope? I got sharks here. I'm in cold water. Mm. I don't know what to do. And God says, don't take that rope. Oh, he says, let me tell you, if you take that rope, that one wants you to believe that he is your savior. God My says, God. I am your savior. Come on, it's about one God. One God. He says, I am your savior. He said, don't take that rope because the rope that you take from the enemy is the very rope that he's gonna use to hang you with. My Lord. My Lord. And he says, and now that you know my voice and you're hearing me telling you, say, trust me. He my says, you know why? Because just like I close the, 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 the mouths of the lions, I will close the mouths of those sharks. Glory to God. I will close the mouths Glory of those sharks. So you trust me and you let that devil know that there's nothing that he can do. You need to trust me. I will close the mouths. And not only that, I will use one of those sharks to take you back to shore. Come on. To carry you back to Hallelujah. shore. Hallelujah. So you need to trust mm. me is what he is saying. So. Mm. A lot of the times, like I said, the enemy will set up traps for you. There were traps that were set up for you from a long time ago. An apostle I was talking to in, in, in Atlanta was saying to me, it's something called identity theft. They try to steal your identity That's right. That's so right. that you don't know who you are. That's right. That's and what God right. is saying that in me, you are a son and you are a daughter of, oh, of, of the most oh, high God. Know who you are. Because once you discover who you are, that enemy has to flee. You see, he's going to come and attack you when you don't know who you are. 
He knows who you are. But he's going to attack you when you don't know who you are. But the minute you know who you are, Praise God. you're going to stay in that waters. You're going to see that yacht come. You're going to see that rope. And you're, you're going to say, Satan, get thee behind me. Get thee behind me. I know who I am in Christ Jesus. So all I'm saying to you, to all of you out there, I know it's tough. And it's, I know it's tough. I know it's tough for some. I don't know what your stories are. Uh, Reverend Jerry, I know you know some of the stories of the brokenhearted. They've come to you and they're, they, they're, they, they turn to you for that support. And God bless you to be able to help those families and those people who are just, they just want to know that they're loved. And they're saying, Lord, are you here? Have you forsaken me? And, 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 and the Lord will use us. He's wrapping his That's arms around right. them through us. He's using your arms, my arms, to wrap around these people who are just looking for some hope. Amen. They're looking Amen. for hope. So I encourage you to just trust him. Know that you are loved. Know that you are not forsaken. Know that this is a test that you could be going through. But he wants you to know that with him, you've already passed that test. Hallelujah. You've already passed it. So God bless you all on this day. The Lord loves you. Jesus loves you. Trust him. God bless you. And this is the day. Not just on December 25th, you know. This is the day the Lord had made. And we are rejoicing it. And we are glad in it. He said you come here and share all my sorrows. He say you'd be there for all my tomorrow. I came so close to simply you away, but just like you promised. You came here to stay I just had to pray Your goodness is so great I really can't understand And there, Lord, I do know that All this was planned will be your love lips my chains and in you I am free oh Jesus why me sing it now sister Jesus
sent to go to Nineveh and his disobedience and when the whale swallowed him up you spoke about that but that didn't just happen overnight right. that happened because you're going into the devil's territory yeah. you're going into where Satan eats where he sits and when you go there you got to make sure that you have the armor and the breastplate of righteousness because if you don't have the covering you will die i know pastors right now that are in the madhouse because they went somewhere and they were not prepared i know ministers that are in prison because they were not prepared i know men of god that have gone really off their heads because they were not prepared so all i can say to you is that with the prayer a vision of truth outreach ministry that you may continue because you will never ever be the same and you cannot be the same as other people because in order for you to continue making a difference you must be different others will see you to be different they might not be able to communicate with you on the level where you are it was the first time I met you I, I was I was I said Lord I like to think I'm a smart guy I like to think I'm on top of things. This woman speaks and what she speaks is Bible, but I just, I, I wasn't sure how to take true criticism from someone that does not know me. God knows me so God can cuss me out anyhow, put me in my place anyhow. And there are some men of God out there that I hold in high regards, but when you don't know somebody and they put you in a place which she was right because later on, I admitted to her what I'm going through but I was so happy for one big thing I was going through Amen. when you're going through something you're in motion you're not there you're not stagnant you don't stay in one place you know that the person that you are today tomorrow you will not be that person because you're going through and that's what God promised with his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but he shall have everlasting life. Shall is a command. It's something that is already done that you cannot undo. So if you receive that promises of God, you will go through. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, every last person that is out there today, you may